feels it. You know how she's a badass in that stage. You know how the whole. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ron Chloe Okochi. I know a lot of people have been asking me what's the Ron? It's okay, it's actually Sharon, but since my dad has always called me Ron, I actually grew into it and I liked it. It's kind of more cute, so I went with it. So, but that's that. So, welcome back to my channel. This is the Ron script. And to my old subscribers, welcome back guys. I missed you so much. It sounds nice saying it. Welcome back to my channel. I love you. I miss you. And to my new subscribers, if this is your first time watching my video, thank you for coming. Do well to click on the subscribe button to join the family and join the creeps. Let's have fun. Okay, so um, today's video, I'll be talking about um, some tips to boost your self-esteem. Number one is to be confident. We all know that if you're not confident, it comes with um, a lot of disadvantage because people are going to mistreat you, people are going to step up on you, but when you're confident, when you know who you are, there is no possibility yeah, of people messing with you because they know that you're on fire and nobody wants to play, they're not going to want to mess with you. Number two is say the positive affirmations, yes. I started learning about affirmation that was um, 2020, but I didn't really take it seriously. But um, started officially being serious with it was in 2021. So and it has really helped me because the thing is, everything about us human start from the thoughts and things we tell ourselves so when you keep telling yourself negative things that you're not enough you're not beautiful not those negative things they really affect us so it gets to you but when you replace those negative words and thoughts with positive ones you're beautiful you're smart you're intelligent you're loved you're sexy just keep telling yourself that you're badass Nobody got it more than you. When you keep telling yourself that, you start feeling it, your confidence will increase, your self-esteem would boost up. Even people around you are going to see the difference. So number three is fake it till you make it, yeah? A lot of people will now come at me and say, no, I'm not going to be fake. I don't want to be fake like me. Honey, if being fake is going to boost your self-esteem, then please be fake. Fake it, yes, fake it, yes. Um, there are a lot of people that walk around that are not really confident, they don't really have high self A lot of people don't have high self-esteem. But they mask it, you would not know because they are what, faking it. But the annoying part of the whole faking it is when some people fake it to the extent that they try to make others feel bad so they can feel good for themselves. That's the annoying part of it. I have had my own share of that kind of situation where some people try to make me feel bad of myself and make themselves feel good. And I didn't really take note of it until eventually I was like, okay, this is what this person is doing. So I need to stand up for myself. I need to tell myself, okay, I'm not going to accept that. So faking it till you make it is actually going to do very well for you number four is be a badass like Beyonce yep everybody loves Beyonce everybody knows how she does it in the stage everybody knows how she kills it you know how she's a badass in that stage you know how the whole crowd worships Beyonce you know how she's a legend she's an icon I love her I'm not trying to like I love her so much I'm a Beyonce fan who doesn't like good music who doesn't love Beyonce well if you don't love Beyonce that's your own but I'm trying to say that Beyonce is somebody that when she's on that stage, she knows she's a badass, she's a queen, she's a goddess, she knows who she is. So, yeah, like Beyonce, it's really, really help. It's, you, you walk on the street and people know that, okay, this girl knows who she is. This girl, I love the way she carries herself. This boy, I love how she, he speaks. There is no fear. He knows that he owns the stage so um, number five is have standards and boundaries now this is a very very crucial thing that 
that a lot of people would laugh at me because I am speaking for it because I didn't have um, standards and boundaries so people really took um, a lot of advantage of me because of those stuff but when I started having boundaries and standards for myself I started seeing the difference and because of that trust me when you start creating standards and boundaries for yourself you're not going to have friends that you think you had because they're not going to like the new you because they benefited, they took advantage of the nice you, let me quote it like that. When you start telling them that I'm not going to do that, I don't like you being treat, treating me like that, I don't respect you talking to me like that. When you start putting it out there, you're going to be scared and you're going to be like, okay, I don't want to mess with her. Trust me, standards and boundaries are going to boost your self-esteem. Um, number six, kill that fear and be bold. I can't say it less. Kill that fear, honey. Please kill the fear. Fear, having fear is not. It's just making everything worse. It's just. It's killing you. Fear is not good. Like the greatest enemy in life is fear. Um, Will Smith says that he hates fear because fear limits you. Fear is an illusion. So you need to start killing it. You need to start. You just have to kill fear. You just have to do it. If your mind is telling you to do something, if you want to be something, just do it. Forget that fear. Just take it out. Just let like, no, I'm done. Just go out, do it, be yourself, be confident. But who does not like to plan die? That's just it. And number seven, the last tip of boosting your self-esteem is look good to feel good. Yes, it, it really works. Yeah, look good to feel good because there are some times where um, I'm not really looking good. I know I'm not looking good because my hair is not like my hair is not banged. I'm not wearing like a banging outfit. I just know I'm not looking good and trust me it affects how I feel. It affects my confidence and those times I don't really look raise my head when walking. I don't speak well. You know those kind of things. But the days that I dress well, smell well, make my hair, my makeup, everything is on fleek. Trust me, my confidence game that day. You, you don't wanna know. You, you don't wanna know. <laughs> so, honey, please dress well, look good, smell nice. If it's your hair, cut it, make it, go shopping. If you have some nerdy outfits, please throw them away. Get new stuffs. Go to the mall, go to the boutique, go to the market, get new stuffs for yourself and look good and trust me when you start looking good you you yourself nobody's even going to tell you that okay there's something there's this energy around this person you yourself are going to feel it the way you walk will even be different you get what i'm saying so just look good so that you can feel good so that is that for this video i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you love this video so please do well to like this video you cannot like just do something like this video leave a comment and share and i know some of you have not subscribed i know so please what are you waiting for please click on the subscribe button honey click on it <laughs> please subscribe thank you very much i love you can't wait to see you in my next video bye